Welcome to Iron Hand Tech Channel. Have you ever wondered the fate of glass bottles after we're done using them? Billions of glass bottles are released into the environment every year, causing serious consequences. On average, a glass bottle takes up to 4,000 years to completely decompose. This not only pollutes the environment, but also wastes precious resources. But don't worry, there is a simple and effective solution to this problem. Recycle them. Recycling glass bottles not only helps to reduce waste, but also saves energy, protects natural resources, and creates more jobs. When recycling one ton of glass, we save 1.2 tons of raw materials, reduce carbon emissions by 30%, and use 40% less energy than producing new glass. Let's learn about the current glass recycling process. First, these glass bottles are collected by specialized containers, vehicles at households, restaurants, construction sites. After the glass bottles are collected at the recycling plant, we can simply move them into a giant hopper like this with a specialized machine, and they will be crushed by a specialized crusher. And that's great because that way, we can recycle the broken glass pieces without having to sit down and separate each broken bottle out of their lids before pouring into the crusher. Then comes the screening machine, which will help separate non-glass dirt or plastic things that unfortunately get into the same pile of glass bottles at first. Smaller pieces of broken glass will be dropped downwards. We have separated part of the non-glass waste. Next, the glass fragments that fall to the bottom are further fed into the conveyor belt to go up to the furnace and continue the cleaning process. One more time. Before going to the firing machine, the pile of broken glass will pass through a giant magnet buddy. The place will suck away the metal stuff that will then be recycled somewhere else. The thin pieces of glass are then heated at 80 semifarn to separate the label from the glass surface and treat it. At this temperature, bacteria are also killed. After that, we are left with clean pieces of glass with the colors mixed together. So how to separate pieces of glass of different colors from each other without picking up each piece by hand to ensure the quality of glass when recycled? This is the machine that will help us, therefore, an optical classifier that uses lasers and airflows to sort glass into different areas and classify particles. After being cleaned and sorted, the glass flakes will be fed into the crusher again to be crushed into glass particles, which makes the melting process easier and more efficient. Once a clean and homogeneous source of raw material is available, the crushed glass fragments are melted at 1500 degrees when using an industrial furnace that converts them all into a liquid state. From this stage onwards, the process of producing a new product from recycled glass is quite similar to the process of producing new glass products. However, the process of melting recycled glass consumes less energy than melting new raw materials, including sand, soda, and limestone, because the recycled glass has been heated once. In addition, the use of this recycled material saves input materials, because instead of using raw materials entirely, the recycling process uses part or all of the used glass. In addition, it also helps reduce negative impacts on the environment, such as reducing the amount of waste sent to landfills, reducing the exploitation of natural resources, and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. In this process, in order to create glass products with different colors, hardness, durability, and properties, some other raw materials are often added. These ingredients are called additives. Each different additive will produce a different product. If you add copper oxide, you will have blue or red glass. If you want black, then just put it in a carbon furnace and you will have black glass. And you want a clear glass product, then just use the additive sodium nitrate, which will remove air bubbles in the glass, making the glass transparent. There are also additives that increase plasticity, reduce viscosity, increase refraction, or increase the mechanical strength of glass. So which additives to use in the melting process depends entirely on the final product that the recycler wants to produce. There are three commonly used methods for shaping, molding, blowing, and pressing. With the molding method, the molten glass mixture is poured into molds of the desired shape to form new products, such as bottles, cups, glass panels, etc. And here is the blowing method. 
For some products, such as bottles, people use the blowing method to shape. Use the pressing method to create products like sunglasses. The glass product is cooled slowly to prevent cracking. The glass product is placed in an annealing oven or blown to cool gradually. Glass products after cooling will be used specialized tools and machinery for further processing, such as cutting, grinding, polishing to achieve a finished product. This final stage ensures that the glass product is of high quality and meets the technical requirements. Glass waste can be recycled, reshaped countless times without compromising the quality of the final product because glass is made from natural materials such as sand, soda, and limestone. When smelted, these materials come together to form a very stable structure. This is one of the biggest advantages of glass recycling. Glass recycling helps to produce beautiful, quality products, helping glass bottles once again return to serve people's lives. So together we have explored the journey of recycling glass bottles. Recycling glass bottles not only helps protect the environment, but also creates useful new products. Let's join hands to reduce waste and build a clean and beautiful green planet. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to update other interesting videos.